Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So today we're going to be testing out the new Fenty Beauty um, Cheeks Out Freestyle Cream Blushes and the new Cheeks Out Freestyle Cream Bronzers. So I did buy these myself. I did purchase these myself on the Sephora website the night that they launched. They already came in the mail. I was honestly pretty shook with how fast they shipped. Usually Sephora takes forever, um, but I got it within like a day so <laughs> excited to try these out but if you do follow me on instagram i have expressed my thoughts so far it's not expecting the size of the the cream blushes i did already talk about this mostly on my instagram stories if you guys already follow me on there then you guys already kind of know what i'm talking about but um i will be getting more in depth in my thoughts on these a little bit later i do want to express a little bit of my thoughts initially and then i am going to demo these products first and then i'll get into like my final review at the end purchased these and i got them in the mail and honestly i was shocked with how small the cream blushes are now i will say because i keep comparing it to this product on my instagram story and i also compared it to something else but the reason i'm comparing it to my nars birthday gift that i got from Sephora. I got it like in the same order. This is the little birthday gift that you get from Sephora. You get this and like a little NARS lip crayon. Little did I know that the uh, Fenty cream blushes would be the exact same size as this little deluxe sample of the NARS blush. Um, if you guys have ever gotten like the Sephora birthday gifts, you know that these are tiny. They're like little tiny products. So I was shocked when I saw that the uh, Fenty cream blushes were basically the size of like a deluxe sample uh, from something else from Sephora. These are $20 each, which is why I'm so a little like bothered by how small they are is because 20 bucks is like, it's not expensive, but it's also not cheap. And $20 alone isn't that expensive, but I bought four of them. So I spent $80 just on blush. Plus the bronzer was $32. $32 so my total came out to like almost $130 for blushes and bronzers <laughs> i'm sure most people aren't buying like this much all at once and i obviously bought this for a video because i wanted to film with it and i probably am going to be returning some because two of the colors i didn't really expect them to be as dark as they are they probably will work but just with seeing how small they are and how much product you get in it and the price i just feel like especially right now during these times i don't really need to be spending this much on uh blush especially with not getting as much product as you get into it so i will get into more of the product how much you get inside of it comparing it to other cream products that are at sephora other cream products that i have why they didn't just put it in the same packaging as the other cheek products they have get into it more later but i want to go ahead and do it the demo first and test that out so this video isn't too long because i do have a lot of thoughts and opinions on this product so I also just want to mention this really quick because I get the same comments every single time I say anything remotely not uh, positive about Fenty Beauty. Um, and it's mostly from people that don't follow me. So if you don't follow me, then you don't know that I am like, like Rihanna's number one stan. Like I literally have given Miss Robin Rihanna Fenty more money than I have anything in my entire life. This girl has so much, thousands and thousands of my dollars. My freaking Twitter is basically a Rihanna stan account. I don't want to hear it. I don't want to hear that I'm a hater. I don't want to hear it. I'm just being honest. And even though I have thoughts on these things, I'm sure Rihanna doesn't really give a shit. And I'm sure Fenty Beauty can handle the constructive criticism. So I just want to put that out there before anyone starts coming for me because it happens every single time. It happened with the Snapshadow video. It happened with the Galaxy palette. I've heard it already before. I'm going to put that out there really quick. I obviously have not tried the product yet. It might be good it looks like it's gonna be good i mainly have concerns with the amount of product you get in the component that being said let's go ahead and just do the demo really quick so i can do the rest of my face because i feel really naked right now i just have foundation on um and concealer i'm wearing the fenty hydrating foundation which i love i love this foundation also have the number one i think is it yeah the number one snapshot palette let's start off with the bronzer first because i do bronzer before blush so this i got the shade macchiato which was the light to medium skin tone one um and this is what the packaging looks like it looks just like their um regular bronzers it is a little 
Is it the same color? I think it's the same color, except the cream one says cream on it. So this is the regular bronzer. This is the cream one. You guys can see, I don't want to blind you guys, but you guys can kind of see the difference. The shades, I have the shade Shady Biz in the regular bronzer. This is the powder one. And they both contain the same amount of product. I have 6.23 grams or 0.22 ounces, both bronzers. I'm going to use this one. Like I said, I got the shade Macchiato, what that shade looks like. I'm in the shade 190 in all Fenty uh, complexion products, foundations, concealers. Um, and this is what this looks like compared to Shady Biz, which is like my perfect bronzer. It's a little bit darker. I'm hoping this is a little bit, uh, sheer? Not sheer, but I hope it doesn't come off as dark as that. This is the brush that I use for all my cream bronzers, so I like to use this brush. This is the Makeup Shack T29. It's just like a little angled, dense brush. So I'm just gonna go into it. Some product, I'm just like dabbing it, and then I'm taking some on the back of my hand. Oh yeah, it doesn't look as, um as dark as it does in the pan so I don't have any powder on my face obviously just underneath my eyes so I'm just kind of dabbing it on and then blending upwards oh I love this I love this color by the way this is $32 so the blushes are 20 these are 32 you do get pretty like a good amount of product in here I really, really like the color of this. Stippling it on. You guys can apply it with a damp sponge if you want to. I personally just like to use this brush when it comes to cream bronzer or anything. I just think it, the little angle of it just works with my face. I love this. I think it's applying so nicely and it leaves the skin like nice and sheeny. Like it's not a super matte bronzer. Um, so I like the way it looks on the skin. It's blending out super, super easily. And I feel like the product is pigmented enough, but it's not overly pigmented where it's a little hard to blend out and stuff, you know? Kind of like, I have that problem with the matchsticks. Like, they're good, but I do have to work with them a lot to get them to look good, you know? This bronzer just blends out so easily. I love the way that this looks. This, I, I love this already. I love it. I love it. I love the way it looks great i think it looks so soft and i get like why people like cream bronzer now because like sometimes powder bronzer can look a little harsh this just looks like you're effortlessly bronzed and i love it i love the formula i did pick up four of the blushes i'm only going to try two of them because like i said i think i am going to return two of them um but the ones that i picked up and i think that i'm going to keep are petal poppin and strawberry drip i also picked up summertime wine and cool berry i'll show you guys what they look like i just feel like they're a little bit darker and it doesn't look like something i probably would use this one is cool berry it's like a cool mauvey purpley color it is really pretty. It just doesn't look like something I would use. But I feel like the pictures online are really hard to go off of because it, I don't feel like that's what they look like online. Um, I also picked up Summertime Wine. This one is really pretty too. I don't know. I might keep this one. I don't know. We'll see how I like the formula of them. I don't know. I like this color, but it also looks like a little dark. I saw somebody applying this one on the Fenty Beauty Instagram and it looked so sheer. So... If these are like really pigmented, then I probably won't have a problem too much with the size and like I just feel like you won't go through them as fast. But if they're sheer, then that's an issue because like you're just going to go like run through them super fast. So I'm going to start off with Petal Poppin and I am going to use Strawberry Drip. I'm going to use both of them. I'm going to apply one on each side and then I'll just probably mix them afterwards so I don't look like I'm wearing two different blushes. So this one is Strawberry Drip, the one I'm most excited for. It's really, really pretty. It's like a corally pink and then this one is Petal Poppin, which looks like something I would use on an everyday basis. So for cream blush, again, I know a lot of people like to use damp sponges. I like to use brushes. The one that I like to use the most is the ColourPop F9. I use this for all my cream blushes. Um, well, I don't have that many. But when I do use cream blush, it is this one. So I'm going to start off with Petal Poppin. Take some on my brush. I'm just swirling it in there. And I'm just stippling it on. I mean, that's what I would expect from this color. It is sheer. Let me see how much you can build this up and see like if it does build up. Okay, it does. It's really, really sheer. I don't know if it's just because of this color. It's not disturbing the foundation or anything either. So I like this color. It definitely looks like something I would use a lot. It is summertime, or no, strawberry drip. So this one's a little bit brighter. So we'll see if this one shows up a little bit more. Honestly, I really like this petal poppin' one. I think building it up, it does look really nice. Um, it still is a little bit lighter. Well, no, I like it. I like the way it looks. Let's go in with Strawberry Drip. We'll see how pigmented 
this one is because this one is like a little bit more of a lighter color anyway so let's see okay no these are just really sheer so like I said that is this color I feel like maybe on camera you can't really see how bright this one is but this one is a really bright shade so they're not super pigmented you do have to build them up to get them more pigmented and even then like it still doesn't look like how this looks in the pan but it does leave a really pretty color behind I like when blushes are more sheer but I just feel like you might go through it a little bit faster you know so like two layers is good honestly these look almost a little bit similar this one looks a little bit more pink but honestly because they are so sheer I feel like they do look kind of similar like, can you guys, let me scoot back a little bit. Can you guys even really tell, like, which side is which? They almost look the same. This one just looks more um, lighter and a little bit, like, on the more peachier side. But honestly, I feel like if I would go out like this, like, you really couldn't tell which one is which. Which proves to me that they are sheer because they almost look exactly the same. A little bit of strawberry drip on this side just to even them out. I like it. I like the color of them. All the difference with these shades which is a little concerning because if you put these next to each other, like, you'll see that this one's pretty light. And this is one of the lightest shades, I think, when it came to, like, their swatches. But you guys can see, like, the difference. Like, this one is a little bit lighter. Pretty light. And this one looks like it's going to be, like, a nice bright pink. Um, but most cream blushes are like this where they're more sheer and stuff. So, I mean, I was expecting it to be like that. So, I mean, it's exactly like any other cream blush where, like, it's just... You know, on the more sheer side, it looks a lot natural. Like, it looks like you're naturally blushing and stuff. Let me go ahead and just finish up the rest of my face, and then we'll get into my thoughts on everything. So, okay, so I went ahead and just did the rest of my makeup. I'm getting very, like, model off the clock vibes right now. I kind of am living for it. Um, okay, so now that I have applied the products, um, I have let them sit on my face for a little bit. And on my lips, I have the Alamut Cosmetics. Dulce lip liner with the Fenty Fussy Gloss, which is my favorite gloss from Fenty. Um, also, my hair. This is not my hair. Obviously, my hair is not this short. This is the INH uh, Bella Pony. You guys see my code. It's Trains. It'll save you some money. I have a lot of thoughts. I have a lot of screenshots and a lot of info that I want to talk about. Start off first with the formula and everything. Cream bronzer, 10 out of 10. You need it. It is so good. I think this is my favorite cream bronzer I've ever tried. It's really hard for I feel like anybody not just me it's really hard to find a really good cream bronzer a lot of them either are really hard to blend they don't blend out well they're patchy they have removed the makeup they are either the wrong tone they're always really orange this one is perfect perfect probably the best cream bronzer I've ever tried better than the matchsticks if you are somebody that like likes the idea of the matchsticks but you never really could get them to work for you kind of like me I I mean I like them I just find that they're really hard to blend out no matter how much I let them warm up on my hand all that it, it's it's just they're not for me I use them because I have them I just bought a new one I just bought a new um mocha one I still <laughs> I can't really get them to work the best for me and I still feel like that tone of that one is still kind of off this one is perfect perfect I feel like they got the cream bronzers down right and I can definitely see myself using this like every single day to get this review out of the way you need this. This is amazing. If you were thinking about picking this up, hands down, get it. It is worth every single penny of the $32. I love this. This might be one of my new favorite bronzers. I just love the way it looks. It looks so subtle on the face. Like, it looks like you are naturally bronzed. And it's really, really, I mean, I do like a more sculpted, contoured look for the most part. But honestly, I'm really liking how this looks so natural. Probably one of my favorite products from Fenty already. I love the formula of it. And it was so easy to blend. And I really, like, just initially first application I fell in love it was so easy to work with so we move on to the cream blushes so I want to talk about comparison wise of cream blushes that I have um, other cream blushes that are on the Sephora and Ulta website some of the DMs you guys sent me some things that you guys have told me since I talked about it last night on my stories I want to talk about it all start off first formula wise I do like them I like the formula of them I think it's really good um, was it anything like outstanding to me not really like I've tried a, a few cream blushes not like a ton like I'm not like a cream blush connoisseur but I have tried a good amount and I feel like for the most part cream blushes I they're either good or they're like greasy and slide all over the place so this one is not like that I like the way and also it doesn't stay that sticky like it's not anything I don't like when 
products stay sticky foundation nothing like that so this one it doesn't set it still leaves your face still kind of glowy um and like kind of has that sheen to it but i don't feel like i need to like go over it with another blush or anything same with the bronzer bronzer doesn't set completely or anything like that it's still you can kind of feel where it's at um but that's i mean i kind of expected that i don't think they're not matte like the um, matchsticks are the matchsticks are a matte product these cream blushes have three grams of product or 0.10 ounces the NARS deluxe little birthday <laughs> sample size thing that they have this is a uh, 0.12 ounces or 3.5 grams so there is more product in this little deluxe sample size than there is in this cream blush now I've seen a, I've got a lot of the DMs already I've seen them already you guys have sent me them saying that that's normal because they're more concentrated, they're more pigmented. I don't feel like these cream blushes are that pigmented. Like, I don't know if you guys can tell, but I don't think they look that pigmented. That's not something I'm too mad at because I don't really like a pigmented blush to begin with. But, in this case, <laughs> I feel like because they're not as pigmented, you're going to go through them faster. I love blush. I wear blush every single day. Even when I'm not wearing makeup, I will always throw blush on. I love blush. I need blush. Blush is my probably one of my favorite products of makeup. Um, therefore, I already can tell that I'm going to go through these really fast. Obviously, I'm not going to sit here and swirl it to see how much product and how fast you will go through it. I'm not about to waste product like that. I spent my money on this and I'm not going to do that. <laughs> not super, super pigmented where I'm like, okay, you only need a little bit and that'll kind of go a long way. I feel like you do need to build it up to get the something similar to the color in the pan. I want to talk about comparisons to other... Um, blushes that are on sephora my friend morgan actually told me about one and i actually had screenshot of that one because this was one of the first ones that popped up when i typed in cream blush on sephora this is the tower 28 uh lip lip and cheek balm my friend morgan that golden hour girl uh i'll leave her instagram in here she was like yeah i use that one and i love it this one is also 20 dollars, and you get 4.5 grams of product in there so that is one and a half grams more for the same amount of a lot of people said that this is like the typical size for cream blushes from what i found it's not typically the case a lot of them are kind of around the same uh ballpark when it comes to amount but i've seen a lot that have a lot more i have the stila convertible color one this was all i mean it's out of stock do they still sell this <laughs> i don't know but this was another one that was on the sephora website i don't even know if they still sell this anymore that one is 4.25 grams of product and that one is 25 dollars. so that one is five dollars more and you get a gram and a quarter more product in that one of the highlighters and i think it's the same yeah it's the same component so we have the kaja beauty bounty blushes i have the highlighters these have uh 4.5 grams of product in it and i haven't used the blushes but the highlighters are amazing so i would assume that the blushes are really good too those are $19 so a dollar less for a gram and a half more product so have these Kaja blushes as well these are the ones I have the little heart stamp this is another cream product that I love this is uh, the what are these called I don't even know what these are called but they're the ones that are heart stamp blushes and I like this blush a lot so this has five grams of product and it's still a cream ish product you get five grams of product in there and let me see how much these ones are so these are 24 dollars so four more dollars than the fenty cream blushes and you get five grams of product in the blushes so two more grams of product for four more dollars another one that i actually own this is a florence mills uh cream blush the cheek me later cream blushes i like this blush it's not my favorite but they sell this one at ulta this one is 14 dollars, and you get 5.6 grams of product so that is like two and a half grams more product for 14 dollars not my favorite formula but if you are looking for like a cream blush um this one is all right another one that i want to mention because i i technically consider these like cream products even though they're not technically like cream they're like cream to powder the ColourPop super shock blushes i had to include these in here because i use these ones on a daily basis typically drop of a hat um these have these have 4.2 grams 1.2 grams more product for eight dollars so <laughs> yeah i just wanted to get those comparisons out of the way because another thing that was brought to my attention was somebody dm me and said that looks like the same component as their mini highlighters that come in the little sets that are like in the you know the aisle by the registers at sephora their little minis that they have um i think they have a little mini uh hustle baby with a lip gloss that is like around 23 24 dollars or something like that um, let me check. You have a little set with the mini um, Hustle Baby and a little mini 
lip gloss for $23 which is in the same component as this. This was brought to my attention. Somebody actually DM'd me too and sent me pictures. This was actually sent to me by Blondie Brand and she sent me a, screen, a picture of her little mini highlighter next to the same little NARS blush that I got and I'll put the picture here on the screen. It looks like it is the same component. The actual pan of the mini highlighter has 2.2 grams of product in there so it does have a little bit less than this i'm assuming that the pan is a little bit shallower than maybe this pan but it does look like it is the same component as the little minis from the bomb baby mini set that little mini highlighter in there interesting there's also another little mini set that has the diamond bomb baby uh, little highlighter and lip gloss in there as well and that one actually has 2.8 grams and 10 ounces which this also has 10 ounces and this one has 0.2 more grams of product um and that one is 25 so again just keep that in mind that these are little mini sets these are mini products so and that little diamond bomb is almost the same amount of product in here and that one does come with a gloss as how much product is in those little mini sets so you guys can do the comparisons if you want if you do think that this is worth the $20 then by all means that's your opinion to me I feel like it is still pretty expensive for how much product you are getting in there I do like the formula don't get me wrong the formula is nice I like the product um and I will use it like I will I can see myself using it I don't think it was necessary for me to buy that many and I don't think most people will be buying that many especially during these times right now we do not need to be spending that much money on blush um I will say if you do want to pick one up I would say pick one up pick one. <laughs> you are like me and my skin tone and you're kind of debating between Petal Poppin and Strawberry Drip. Honestly, they look almost identical on the skin before I applied, like I mixed the two together. I really couldn't tell the difference. I feel like you could probably just pick up Strawberry Drip. Unless you're like lighter than me, then I feel like Petal Poppin might be better. But Strawberry Drip, if you take just like that first initial swipe on there, it honestly looked almost the same. Other thing, since they are so sheer, the similar colors are going to look more similar on the skin. I just don't understand why they wouldn't just put it in this component. All of their cheap products are in this packaging. The regular bronzers, the single pan um, kilowatt highlighters, the duos, even the diamond veils are in that same packaging. Like... It just doesn't make sense to me why they chose to go this tiny route for the cream blushes. Especially because I feel like you go through cream products so fast and it doesn't make sense why they would do the cream bronzers and the blushes in the same launch and be this, like, this <laughs> dramatically different in size. I think I've even shown these two side by side like this, but this is the size comparison. Sorry, this one is kind of hard to show. I'll show one of these ones because that one's like blinding. This is the size of a normal highlighter, like the kilowatt highlighters, and this is the size comparison. It's tiny. It's literally so small. I would much rather pay $32 for a blush in this size and you get that much product than $20 and get something this tiny. I wouldn't have mind spending $32 on something that was this size because I already did for the bronzer. Why not do it for the blush, you know? It's the size comparison between a highlighter and one of the cream blushes. It's dramatically different in size. It is so much smaller. And I just feel like maybe that's the normal for cream blush. I don't know. Either really expensive or like decently priced for Fenty. That's how I feel like it is. Like I think the foundations, things like that, like those are all really reasonably priced. Some other products like the palettes are really overpriced. Like the big one, the Moroccan Spice, the Galaxy palette were both really overpriced. I feel like Fenty is grown and more respected enough to understand constructive criticism. I'm not like dragging the product at all. I actually really like it. I just wish it would have been in like this packaging. I don't understand why they went this route for cream blush. It really doesn't make sense to me. I know some people will probably start arguing with me saying that that is the normal for cream blush, that it's supposed to be small, blah, blah, blah. I'd probably say I would have rather paid like 16, maybe $17 for this. I'm gonna say 16. I feel like 16 would have been a more decent price for how much product you're getting in here. Like I said, I bought four of them, um, which came out to $80 for blush. Uh, with the bronzer my entire total came out to like almost $130 um, So I'm not sure how much like with tax and stuff for like the blushes, but I'm sure it's around like 90 something dollars for four blushes um, Maybe I'm just a cheapskate. Maybe I don't like to spend money on makeup I feel like I've talked a lot, but those were my thoughts and like I said I don't want to hear that I'm dragging Fenty in the comments. I don't want to hear it. Okay. 
I would still give my firstborn child to Rihanna if she asked me, okay? That's my thoughts. That's my opinion. That's my opinion! You do want to pick one up and you want to try it for yourself, pick one up. Pick one up. See how you like the formula, see if you like it, and then maybe if you like it that much, then pick up another one. I don't think it's necessary to buy all four of them like I did at once. Um, I just feel like my total for just blush and bronzers really just hit me in the heart. I was like, oh, a lot for just blush and bronzer. That cream bronzer though, amazing. Chef's kiss, so good. I cannot get over how much I love it. So if you guys like this video, I hope this was helpful for you guys if you were considering picking any of these products up. Guys, thank you guys so much for watching. If you guys did like this video, then make sure to give it a big thumbs up. Subscribe if you're not subscribed already, and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.